Hello and welcome to the channel. This is the first video of the Excel VBA tutorial for beginners, where we're going to learn the basics of VBA and create simple but useful Excel macros. This first video is just an introduction, and we'll see some examples of macros and beyond. But what is a macro after all? An Excel macro is a set of programming instructions that automates tasks in Excel. And Visual Basic for Applications, or VVA for short, is the programming language used to code or write the macros. It has its origins in the Microsoft Basic programming, but evolved into an object-based programming language. VVA can be used with most Microsoft Office applications, such as Word, PowerPoint, but this tutorial is limited to Excel VVA only. Using Excel VVA macros have the following main advantages. Saving time, reducing errors, enforcing standards, and the integration with other applications. Let me show you some examples. Here I have some data, and um, as you see, we have some blanks here. Uh, we would like to get rid of, of those rows. We, we could do it manually. It would take some time. And of course, this is just an example with 20 rows, but usually we have hundreds of rows of data, so that's probably not an option. Then we could use many of the options that Excel offers. Of course, we could use, for example, go to, to special here, select the blanks. That would not work here because we don't have the whole row empty. Um, if we delete here, it would only delete the cells in column A and B. We could also use the, the filter here, for example, and, and here and tick the blanks, and, and that would do the trick, then we could copy this, but well, so there are options, but we can do that much faster with a macro. If we have the macro in place, it's just the, it's just one click, it's just less than a second. Um, of course, it, it probably takes some time to, to create the macro, but if you learn, in this case, it's just three or four lines of code, and then you can adapt the macro. For example, today you have this data with column A and B missing, but tomorrow you get a different set of data and, and it's, the, the blanks are in column C, so you just go to your macro and in one of the lines change the column and then it, it keeps working. And you save your macro and, and, um, and you can reuse it every time. So let's see how that works. So let me let me pull the the list of macros here, and if we go to delete blank rows, and we click, immediately it deletes all the blank rows. Let me show you some other example. Here we have some data with employee IDs and uh, accesses um, given, and we want to check if there are any duplicates in in our list of employee IDs. So we can do that in Excel as well. Um, of course, there are some options to, to find duplicates, but again, if we have a macro in place, which is just a few lines of code, we can do that with the click uh, of a button. So let me just here go to run, highlight, and it, it shows which IDs are, are repeated. Um, in the same way, we can, uh, for example, um, check the two different versions of, um, of a file I have here in two different worksheets, they seem exactly the same, but we, we have received that from you know, two different sources and we, we want to check if there are any changes from the last, from uh, in version two compared to version one. So again, we can do that, we can have a simple macro to do that. Uh, and in this case, I'm gonna run this, which is compared to worksheets. And when we run it, um, we look at version two and it highlights the, the changes compared to version one. And, and you know, if there are any other changes, here there's another change to the name of a, of a server. Um, so, so that's another example. Let me show you, I, I have yet an, a couple of examples to show you. Here I have some data and, um, and we want to, and, and you see is, is data from car sales. So we have in column A the, the car brand, and we want to um, filter by brand and split the data into different worksheets. So I want to have uh, Toyota in one sheet, uh, Opel in another sheet. So that's again, a simple macro doing doing this uh, and let me show you how that works so if we go here copy filter data to new sheets and we run it 
we, we still have our original sheet, which is all. And then we have for the different car brands, we have now the data uh, split here in different, in different worksheets. Now let's say we want to split those into separate workbooks. So I have here another file with just three of them. And we will use another micro to split the, the worksheets into separate workbooks because we may need to send you know, a separate workbook to, to uh, a colleague working for Toyota. He's not interested in the other. So, so again, we can do that with just one click. And uh, let me run this macro here and show you one, two, and three. It has uh, created three uh, separate workbooks here, as you see with the data. So those are just some examples. You can find um, many, uh, many more examples in, in the blog or also in this channel. And as I said earlier, you can actually build entire applications in Excel with VBA. Let me show you some examples. This is a Forex tester or Forex backtesting application in Excel. So as you see, you can, you can play the data. Uh, you can actually start a new project and, and load the data, uh, import the data for currencies. You can um, put a new order here, uh, as you see, um, the new orders are here. You can see your trades here on the other page. Uh, you can um, view or hide the, the different technical um, parameters here. And everything is done with VVA. Um, let me show you another example. This is an organization chart creator. I have here a list of my employees in my organization. And with a click of a button, I create this organization chart. And I can update this list whenever there are changes, or I can send it to a colleague, and he can just use it to, to get the organization chart for his, uh, for his company. Of course, we, we have visual to the organization chart, but this is doing that automatically. Let me show you some other examples here. Um, this is a service desk manager application in Excel as well. So all what you see here is done in Excel with VVA. Um, we also can do timesheet applications. This is an example. This is another example of a timesheet done with Excel VBA. And this is yet, an, yet another example. And um, this is an example of a, of a shift roster generator also done in, with Excel VBA. And we can also do things which are not supposed to be in Excel. But this is, for example, the Excel Sudoku Pro, where you can create um, Sudokus with five levels of difficulty. You can play it here uh, and, and put the timer on to see how long it takes. You can resolve. You can get tips. And you can also upload it and download. There are many other things you can do with Excel VBA. This is a, a, a maze in, in, in Excel created with VBA. Or you can create games. This is a tic-tac-toe game. We can, you know. Uh, play the game on, on Excel. And uh, this other example is um, football predictions application where you can um, make predictions for the upcoming games. In this case, in the Spanish uh, first division, you can see the statistics. Here we have a uh, head-to-head uh, um, -head between Real Madrid and Barcelona. You can see the standings. You can see the results. And this is getting the data from, from a database into Excel, all with um, VVA. And you can find those and many other examples in my blogs. So now let's open Excel. And let's add the Developer tab. The Excel Developer tab gives access to the VBA programming environment and some additional VBA developer tools. If you don't have it yet, go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, or, or simply right click the Excel Ribbon and select Customize Ribbon, and then tick the box for Developer and click OK. The Developer tab allows to, to launch the Visual Basic Editor, where we can create and edit the macros. It also gives access to the list of available macros here, and the macro recorder, and some macro security settings, the add-ins browser, uh, forms and control, um, and ActiveX controls here, and the XML data manager. OK. Now, Select the Developer tab and click Visual Basic. 
or you can also press Alt F11. This will open the Excel VBA Editor window. In the VBA Editor window, we can see the Navigation tab up here, and then the standard toolbar just below. And we can show additional toolbars by right-clicking anywhere in the navigation or in the toolbar and selecting the toolbar needed. You see here, we can select the edit, the back, and user form. If you don't see it, just right-click uh, and add the standard toolbar. You can move the toolbars, so, so just play with it. Um, I, I generally use the, the standard the toolbar on the edit toolbar. Um, usually you have it like like this. Um, the debug, I don't really use it much because we have most of the debug options here and here. And and the user forms, we, we will see that later in the in the training. So we are gonna see most of the of the tabs here in the course of this training. For now, let me only show you the tools. Um, here you have some some options of the um, of the VBA editor that you can set. For example, you can set the size, the font size of the code. I put it 12. I think by default this is 10. I made it a little bigger. You can also set the background. I have a normal white background and and, and black font, but you can change it as you as you wish. You can also um, Change different things here. The other thing I, I change is the tab width of the of the indent. It's usually three or four, and I make it shorter because I have a lot of indentation. So um, you can change all of that here. And the other thing you can do here is to set your VBA project properties. You can put the project name. You can make a description. This could be useful if you share your macro with other colleagues. Uh, you you can also protect your your macro uh, to lock your project here with the password. So if you send it to someone, they will not see it. Um, now, here on the left, we have the VVA Project Explorer. And this looks quite like any Windows Explorer, any file explorer or, or whatever. Well, initially, we just see um, a folder for each of the sheets in the workbook. We have three sheets, so we have here three, three folders. And then we also see this workbook. So this, um, I'm going to explain this in the, in the next video. Um, so so um, I will not get into detail here. And then down here, if you don't see the, the VB Explorer, you can click here, uh, this one here, OK? Uh, Project Explorer, if you don't see that. And the same for the Properties uh, window here. If you don't see, you can just click. The, the this icon here to see the properties window. And the properties window, it shows you for the selected um, item here, in, in this case is sheet one, it shows you the properties for that object. We'll see that later, what that, what that means. But um, so here, for example, it gives us the, the name of the sheet and, and some other uh, properties. For example, here in the end, visible, it, 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 it tells if the sheet is visible, which it is. And you can actually make it invisible here, or sorry, hidden, and also very hidden, which you cannot on, on, the, on the worksheet. Uh, you can only set it to hidden. Here you can make it very hidden, and it can only be set up here or with VBA code. Um, the properties window is very, very useful when we work with user forms. So, But we will see that much later in the training. Um, the last thing I want to say here is whenever we create macros and we have macros, we need to save the workbook as a macro enabled. So. If you go here and you save uh, the macro, just remember to save it as a macro enable. It's a XLSM uh, extension instead of XLSX. OK? And that's it for the first video. In the next video, we'll see what are modules and procedures, and we will create our first macro. Thanks for watching.